Or the sign of Gemini. Hello and welcome to my channel. Is that there's some new beginning that's trying to happen for you. Yeah, some, and it's going to be a cycle. Not just a few days. Not just a month. But a whole new cycle that's trying to happen for you guys. And it looks really positive. So let's get into the reading. And let's see where this... Let's see where this is going. So, for the present time, we got the Wheel of Fortune, and then we got the Seven of Cups. So the Wheel of Fortune, it's a card that reminds us that this too shall pass. Whether it's good times, whether it's bad times, it passes. If all of a sudden you find that you're sitting on top of the world, make sure you keep your perspective as that too like everything else changes so live in the now and count your blessings and just realize that much of life it's really outside of our control but even that's okay roll with any changes and just think positive now the will of fortune is with seven of cups now this seven of cups it's about choices it often indicates confusion and it can also point to disorganization and having too much going on. So, this card it points to a need to narrow your focus. You're probably trying to do too much and doing most of it not very well. So just choose a few of the migrate or important things that are on your plate. Work through them one by one carefully. You may start to feel overwhelmed. But just remember that you can control, at least in some areas, how much you're trying to take on. So, for the present time, coming up middle of June, Seven of Cups, Wheel of Fortune. So, mm, it looks like you, you had a lot of choices. Or you had a lot of options. If you were in a relationship. Or if you were dealing with someone. They might have had a lot of options. It could go either way. Yeah. Just remember the roles can be switched. For this reading. Um, a lot of options. But it looks like that's changing. Because there's a lot of good fortune coming in. Yeah, so we're going to have to clarify these two cards once we take a look at what the rest of the reading is trying to say. So for now, we'll move on over to the person you're dealing with, how they see you. Now, they see you like the Four of Cups and the Four of Wands. Now, the Four of Cups, it's a card about wishful thinking. It warns us to remember to pay attention to what is now. Count the many blessings that we each currently experience and not to worry too much about what could be. Because it's real easy to overlook what we already have in pursuit of what we don't have. So be sure that you're counting your blessings. Try not to spend too much time in self-pity, wishing your life away. Because a lot of life, it actually has to do with where we put our focus. So put your focus on things, people in your life that you have to be thankful for. So, your person sees you as experiencing some regret. Yep, you're regretful about something now. They also see you like the Four of Wands. The Four of Wands, it indicates that you could be attending a special event, one that will be much f more fun than you're anticipating. So, the Four of Wands, it says go. Make sure you go because you'll have a good time. Business is also likely to be going well, and you'll be proud of yourself, and others will be proud of you. Although this is a very positive card in the tarot, it shows a need to keep your wits about you. That although you deserve and should treat yourself to some fun, just know that you're probably still in a building up phase. And now is really not the time to rest completely on your laurels. This card can also sometimes mean that you'll be moving your place of residence. So, 
they see you with the four of wands here as possibly wanting this connection to become to become a whole lot more committed they see you wanting um possible marriage with this person with 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 them they see you wanting it to be a, a long-term committed type relationship and like i said because the four of cups up here they see you as having some regret and i'm picking up regret that it's it's not moving in that direction quite yet but let's see what's your person's thinking how well yeah how you see them let's take a look at how you see them now you see them like the lover's card and also the hierophant so the lover's card it's a beautiful card in the tarot it's associated with the astrolo astrological sign of gemini the twins so it's possible that you could be feeling ambivalent about a relationship or a situation. It could be that your heart is telling you one thing and your head is telling you another. Now, when you get the lover's card, the thing to do is within the bounds of your morality is to follow your heart. Some people say that there are only two modes that any of us operate under at a time. And that's either fear or love. So when you can, choose love. It's saying now is a good time. It's safe to choose love. Yeah, the lover's card is powerful in the tarot. Very powerful. Um, this is a time when um, it's likely to bring love in big, bold, capital letters to the center stage of your life. So that's how beautiful the lover's card is. So you see this person as falling in love, or that's that's what they're doing, they, or there's there's a strong coming together, a union. Yeah, it's the strength of two. This lover's card. It's a partnership. It's a deep love. So that's how you see them, but you also see them like the hierophant. Now the hierophant, you could be searching for the meaning of life. You're considered to be a great loyal friend. When this type of person is called on for advice with some important issues or matters, their empathy and intelligence puts them in a position to provide tremendous support. So, this could be you or someone coming toward you or someone you know. And this type is quick-witted, well-educated, wise teachers marked by integrity quite frankly they are the genuine art article the genuine article a true blue they're highly admired individuals who walk the walk talk the talk and they stand firm in their beliefs and convictions yeah so you also see them like the hierophant you see them wanting to be true they want to be true to this connection no games played yeah, because the Hierophant is moral, ethical, traditional. Yeah, and when the Hierophant talks about love and relationships, if you're asking about how your current partner is feeling, know, just know that they love you very deeply. And it's a love that cannot be broken. It cannot. Nope, the Hierophant is for real, for real. There's no games played here. It's the real deal. And it's with the lover's card. Which is a deep union. Now, yeah, your person wants to keep it real with you, Gemini. And there's, there could be a falling in love here. It could be a deep union, a deep partnership that if it, if it doesn't feel that way now, maybe, maybe it's coming. But that's how you see them. So, let's take a look at why it's happening. So, we got this Knight of Swords. 
Now we got the Ace of Cups. Now the Knight of Swords, it brings a fairly upbeat, cheerful energy. Yeah. As you can see, this man, the Knight of Swords is the card above Y happening. He's on this animal, a goat or a cow or whatever that is. And he looks like he's up in the sky or charging through the mountains somewhere. And he's, he's taking off really fast. And he's not letting anything get in his way. Nothing. He's very determined. Yeah, this person is coming in no matter what. No matter rain, sleep, storm, shine. Very determined. Knight of Swords. It can mean that someone or something desirable is about to seek you out. It points to your physical, emotional, and spiritual energy being at a peak. If you're waiting on news from someone or something, you're likely to like what you hear. The Knight of Swords. It can point to a lot of activity, travel, being out and about, getting things accomplished, and you're unlikely to feel like waiting for anything to come to you. And that's a good thing. You'll be going after your heart's desire. So, you or your person is planning to take action, very impulsive. Um, so, someone wants to come towards you very fast. Someone's got something to say. They want to talk. And it's with matters of the heart. This could be you or your person, Gemini. <laughs> this could be you or your person, Gemini. Now it's with the Ace of Cups. The Ace of Cups is a, another powerful card in the tarot. Very powerful. Uh, it's about love, happiness, affection. Like all the Aces, it's also about new beginnings. And although it usually means love, it can indicate new beginnings in other areas of your life. Things are looking up. People will respond to you with happiness, love, goodwill, more than usually. And you should be feeling good about life overall. This is a great time to make friends. So with this Ace of Cups, it's about a relationship. It's turning for the better. It could mean that a, an existing relationship, it becomes deeper or a deeper level of understanding or it becomes committed. Yeah, so this Ace of Cups is about having deep attraction for someone. And there's, there's a lot of warmth. And some new beginning that's trying to happen. Beautiful new beginning. And it's with the Knight of Swords. So your person wants to, somebody wants to reach out. Yeah, reach out, have a new beginning. Sweep you off your feet. So let's recap this reading right quick so we can get the complete picture. So basically... I'm picking up you, Gemini. You're in a cycle where things are changing for you. And um, you're about to experience some good fortune. That's what the will of fortune is. It's good fortune. Yeah. Um, so you could have been in a time period whereas maybe you, you had a lot of options. Because the Seven of Cups is about options. Maybe you had a lot of options and you realized that multitasking was not your friend. That's what I'm picking up. It was probably too much for you. Or maybe it just wasn't your cup of tea having so many options. But anyway, your person, they see you as um, having some regrets. So I'm feeling that you're, you're regretting that this person is someone that you want a commitment with, uh, something meaningful with this Four of Wands, but they see you as regretting that either they're long distance and it's not happening now, or you could be regretting that 
you had you dealt with a lot of options before this person and you you're regretting that you didn't focus more towards this person that has a lot of love for you this person you see them as having a lot of love for you with the lovers card and they want to keep it real with you no games play no BS so this could actually be someone coming towards you it could be someone that you already know and you're just now waking up to the fact that this person has a lot of love for me and they want to keep it real and it looks like at one time you were probably focused on on uh, options you were probably dating more than one maybe two just dating and dating and not realizing that this was the you were already you already had the real dealio in your world somebody that wanted to keep it real and they had a lot of they have a lot of deep love for you and they still do so this is somebody that I'm picking up for a lot of you Gemini's this is someone that's been in your world or in your environment someone that you knew someone that you know already it's a new person you never dated before but you're just realizing or maybe you, you guys have dated and you're realizing that um, they're the one maybe you guys have been friends for a long time and you just you're waking up who needs options when you got the real deal right here yeah there's a falling in love this person could be falling in love with you they want to keep it real as the hierophant and it looks like they're charging in they're coming in to make it happen yeah yeah they are rushing in with matters of the heart so you realize now you don't need options because you could have a beautiful new beginning with this person that you're dealing with that wants to sweep you off your feet and has got a lot lot of love for you yeah you could have a beautiful new beginning ace of cups is here there's a deep attraction there's a lot of warmth that's in this connection and it's it's a beautiful new beginning that's trying to happen but you had to you had to wake up and it looks like you just regret that you didn't acknowledge this person before it could be yeah picking up it could be something like that because there's regret here yeah you could have been celebrating with this person all this time and you're just not realizing that they're they're the one yeah and you didn't realize it before so you're regretting it yep so you dealt with a lot of options and now you're finally waking up you're ready to celebrate with the with the person that really loves you and this is beautiful and a new beginning is waiting to happen so Jim and I keep your eyes on the prize 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 